So, Alan, Aberdeen in the Cup on Sunday, does it give you a chance to get away from the recent uh, league form? Yeah, it does. It's something the Cup brings. Um, something different. Um, it gives you a chance to be a special league form if it's poor. Ours has been poor of late, so it gives a, a break away from that league form and a chance to get around the Cup, which everybody really enjoys. Um, the recent form against Aberdeen hasn't been great, but uh, it was a strange game up in uh, up, up at their place earlier in the season. Um, do you think it's it's one that you can um, get a result from this Sunday? Yeah, it's certainly one we can get a result from. It was a strange game up there. I think we probably played better in that game than we did in the first game at Far Hill. But yeah, we, we lost four goals, which is, was was bizarre. Um, but there's positives to take from the game, um, and also negatives as well. We didn't get enough support to Chris Dolan on the day. I didn't think we played. I think they played some good stuff up until the final third and didn't penetrate enough and worked their goalkeeper enough. So it's something we'll be looking to do this weekend. And there's a few uh, guys missing with injury and suspension this this week. Um, can you tell us who's who's going to be out? Um, we've got a few suspensions. We've got Arm Muirhead missing from obviously last year's head booking, uh, sending off carries over. Um, Stuart Bannigan suspended, Gary Fraser suspended. And we have injury doubts with Sean Welsh, Stephen O'Donnell, and the latest one is John McMillan, who's just got a back spasm, who was fine up until yesterday. And uh, what, what have you been doing in training this week to sort of pick the boys up after the after the Dundee United game on Saturday? Yeah, well, the first couple of days, obviously, the boys were doing because it was a poor performance up at Tannadice. Um, we realised that, we watched it back, we analysed the game ourselves, the coaching staff, and take it into training. Um, we put it behind us now and we look forward to the Aberdeen game. We've worked hard all week um, and worked a few things and hopefully maybe a wee bit of change of tact and hopefully we'll maybe be successful this weekend. Uh, will you be looking to change things a little bit this weekend um, to, to try and get a result? Yeah, definitely. We'll need to change something to try and get a result against Aberdeen and our bogey team. And obviously with the suspensions and injuries, we'll be forced to change the personnel as well. And finally, what's what's the feeling like um, amongst the, the team? Is it uh, confidence up, morale up? Yeah, obviously it's not as high as it should be, um, or it could be, sorry, or after the, the run of bad games. But we've just let the lads know. But they've got to realise that the first quarter was very, very good. The second quarter will started off with all the teams in the top half of the league that will probably be up there. Um, come the end of the season, your Aberdeen's, Dundee United, Celtic and Inverness uh, and we beat one of these sides but most of the performances in that phase weren't good enough I thought I thought we could acquit ourselves a little bit better um, and the lads know that and they're, they're confident in going to win games I think they've got to still believe that we've done enough in the first quarter that we showed that and they've got to remember that it wasn't that long ago for playing like that Brilliant, good luck for Sunday Alan, thanks very much no